This is Twit. In a regulatory filing today, Chinese uh, China's largest e-commerce company, Alibaba Group, set the estimated price range of its initial public offering in the range of $60 to $66 a share, which values the company at a whopping $155 billion. Alibaba estimates the offering could raise up to $24.3 billion, which would be the biggest IPO in history. The Chinese e-commerce company is expected to launch the deal this month and plans to list under the symbol BABA or BABA on the New York Stock Exchange exchange with shares slated to start trading on September 19th. Now, last week, Alibaba reported a surge in revenue and earnings for its latest quarter in part from increased activity on mobile devices. Revenue jumped 46% to 15.77 billion yuan. Uh, that's that's 2.57 billion US dollars from a year earlier, while earnings surged to 12.34 billion yuan uh, from 4.38 billion. Now, Motorola announced today that it has sold out of its initial supply of Moto 360 watches available online. The company isn't saying how many of the devices it has sold, but the $249 round Android Wear uh, smartwatch went on sale earlier today. The Moto 360 will also be available in all Best Buy retail stores by September 14th and is being sold on Best Buy's website as well as via the Google Play Store. Motorola has also said it will add additional carriers and retail partners later this year. In other Motorola news, the company has announced the new Moto X, a bigger version of its predecessor with a 5.2-inch AMOLED screen and a 1080p display instead of the previous 720p display. Instead of a plastic frame, Motorola went with aluminum wrapping around the entire edge of the phone. Plus, the Moto X now offers a back made with one of four different leathers, natural, cognac, black, and navy. The X has a 13-megapixel camera, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor with a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core CPU, a 578 megahertz Adreno 330 GPU, and 2 gigs of RAM. Oh, and forget about OK Google as a voice prompt. You can also customize that voice command prompt to anything you want. The Moto X retails for $99.99 on contract or $499.99 unlocked. Now, the information reports anonymous Apple employees familiar with the so-called iWatch that say there are low expectations for the device's battery life. And even though it's sold out online, uh, even uh, poor battery life is one of the complaints about Motorola's new Moto 360 watch. We've been hearing about that all day, uh, which uses Google's new Android Wear OS. However, rumors have suggested Apple's rumored iWatch will be the company's first device with OLED display technology, which can use considerably less power than traditional backlit LCD displays. The information's Jessica Lesson also said she expects the iWatch to boast voice-enabled controls, mobile payments, health monitoring, and most of the other features that have been rumored to be integrated into the device. Although next Tuesday's Apple event is widely believed to be an iPhone and possibly a wearable announcement, prominent Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo of KGI Securities says he believes a so-called iPad Air 2 will also be unveiled by Apple next Tuesday. In a research note, Quo stead, uh, stated that only iPad Air 2 will see significant spec upgrades, which suggests the iPad mini may not be given as much of a spec bump. Specifically, Quo believes that the next iPad Air will have an anti-reflective screen coating, a full lamination touch panel, a new gold-colored casing, and a next-generation A8 processor. He also expects the device to adopt the Touch ID fingerprint sensor that debuted last year in the iPhone 5S. And in the wake of last weekend's iCloud privacy scandal, Apple has announced it plans to add additional steps to keep hackers out of user accounts while still denying that the breach was due to insufficient iCloud security. CEO Tim Cook said celebrities' iCloud accounts were compromised when hackers correctly answered security questions to obtain their passwords or when they were victimized by a phishing scam to obtain user IDs and passwords and that none of the Apple IDs and passwords leaked from the company's servers. Now, going forward, Apple will alert users via email and push notification when somebody tries to change an account password, restore iCloud data to a new device, or when a device logs into an account for the first time. Apple also says a majority of users don't use two-factor authentication, and it plans to more aggressively encourage people to turn it on in the new version of iOS.